they've been fine. Yeah, it's been a long time that I don't use the video people because I've done really uh, last few weeks uh, out of being uh, for the video. So today uh, I'm going to post some for day seven and for uh, day eight. Uh, I have scheduled uh, the first one. Is for uh, of Sunday. Is for Sunday for day eight and day seven, and for uh, Saturday it will be for day five and day six. Because some day five and day six students were asking me about this. That's why I just want to change uh, my schedule. If I do Sunday for day seven and eight, uh, they will not be participating. So. I will add for day 9 and for day 10. Just give me time. Just give me time. Today, uh, we will see about polygons. Yeah, polygons and circles. So, polygon is uh, a simple closed plane figure for five, see, or more line segments joined into end to end. Mean that any polygon, if it has more than three, uh, line segments and if it is a uh, closed figure, we call that thing that's polygon. Let's say here, uh, as you see from here, this is a polygon. This is a polygon. So, uh, so we have regular pentagon, irregular pentagon, triangle, conte polygon, irregular hexagon, complex polygon. As you see, all of them are there. We call them polygon. So when we talk about polygon, uh, we have concave polygon and convex polygon. So concave polygon is a system approach polygon if it has at least one interior and its of measures greater than 180. Yes, must measure at least one. 180. As you see here, concave is yeah, concave. And we have the second one, it's convex polygon. Convex polygon means each angle is must to be less than 180 degrees. Must to be less than 180. As you know, we have triangle quadrilateralis, um, from quadrilateralis, a square, uh, and other thing, rectangle, pentagon, I mean, uh, rhombus, all of them are the uh, convex polygon. But here, as you see, you have concave octagon. Octagon is if uh, a polygon, if it has eight sides, we call that pentagon. So this is concave uh, octagon. Uh, and the other one is triangle, this is convex polygon, right? As you see here, each angle is measured as 108. But for irregular uh, polygon, I mean uh, concave uh, polygon, the one angle must be measured. 108, at least one angle must measure 180. So, uh, number of all possible diagonals, uh, we can draw uh, this work is for uh, convex polygon. Convex polygon. So, here we have regular pentagon. We can draw what? Uh, possible diagonals by using the formula of N into n minus 3 over 2. This is the given formula, number of all possible uh, diagonals. We can draw from here up to here, from here up to here, from here up to here. You can just calculate it. N means number of sides. Let's say that let's find the pentagonal, number of uh, all possible diagonals. Pentagon has five sided, so n means it has a number of sides, so pentagon means it has five sides, right? So 5 into 5 minus 3 over 2, right? 5 minus 3 is 2, then uh, 5 times 2, 10, 10 over 2. So pen pentagon has 5 uh, possible diagonals. You can draw by using pentagon. Pentagon can draw 5 diagonals. Uh, from each vertex, you will use the formula uh, n minus 3. That's how you find. That's how you find. Okay. And the other one, uh, it's about circle. So, circle is, a circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed point called center of the circle. A 
as you see here, we have radius, chord, diameter, tangent, second. This is uh, their uh, part of the circle. So, let's see them. Um, an arc is the part of circumference. Let's say that the arc of the circle, we call this circle C, right? It's circle C. Because we assign using poli the uh, circle based on uh, the center of uh, the point here, C. We have in the center we have C, right? So we call this circle circle C. You can say that circle A or circle E, but uh, here we have, what we assign is C. If we were assigned that circle, uh, if we make it this O, it, we could say that circle O. But here we said that C, it's circle C, it's the center of the point. So, uh, E, K, F is uh, arc of circle, right? It's an arc of circle. It's an arc of circle. And you have uh, A, D, D. A, D, D is an arc of circle. A, D, D. It's used to here. A, D, D. It's an arc. Uh, and the other one, F, B, H. It's an arc, right? So we have the other one is uh, chord of uh, circle. Chord of circle, we, here we have EF is the chord, chord of circle, right? EF is chord of circle. And the other one, uh, we have uh, diameter, diameter. So diameter of the circle is, AB is the diameter of the circle. AB is the diameter of the circle. So a diameter of the circle, any chord that has through center and the denoted by D, right, diameter, A, B, Z, diameter. The largest chord is diameter. Which one the latter, lar the largest chord? Diameter. Because diameter of it is um, of uh, the uh, chord uh, statements, chord is a circle, uh, is a line segment with any point R on the circle, yeah. And you can say that diameter is uh, a chord, and diameter is the largest chord. So, uh, the next one, and that you need to know is uh, about radius. Radius is uh, half of circle, half of the circle. S is radius, and CB is radius. Because it's half of circle, uh, CB is the radius. I mean, half of diameter. Half of the diameter. So, diameter equals to two r, right? Diameter equals to two r. Mean that diameter. Let's say that AC plus CB is a diameter, right? Mean that AB, AC plus CB is a diameter. Mean that uh, AB. So, AC is the radius, CB is the radius. Radius plus radius, we got the diameter. So diameter equals to, to R. Or you can say that diameter, I mean radius equals to D over 2. D over 2. So uh, the next one is about uh, theorems of triangle. It's about theorems of triangle. You know about theorems of triangle. Sum of any triangle of triangle is 180, right? That's obvious. And we have many type of uh, triangles, we have flat rat triangle, we have a stress triangle, we have skeleton triangle. You have learned that before. Uh, flat rat triangle means all sides must be equal and all angles must be equal. That's a flat rat triangle. And the second one was uh, a stress triangle, right? The two sides and the two angles must be equal. The, the one angle may, may be different, right? So, by the way, flat rat triangle, it can be a stress triangle, but a stress triangle may not be flat right? triangle. And the other one, you have a scalar, scalar triangle. Uh, three sides must be different, right? The three sides must be different to the scalar, right? So I want to tell you about properties of parallel line cut by transversal line. So how do you see these things? Here we have, you have got here, one, two, three, four. With those things that they are an angle. And you have five, six, seven, eight. This is an angle, right? So I want to tell you the relation. Let me start from 
corresponding angles. So, one and five, they are corresponding angles. They are corresponding angles. We say they are corresponding angles, so they, they are equal. They are equal. Four and five. Four and four and uh, I mean, sorry, four and eight. Four and eight is uh, they are corresponding angles. Mean that they are equal, right? Uh, three and seven, they are corresponding angles. Mean that they are equal. Two and six, they are corresponding angles. So they are equal. You see, five and one, they are corresponding angles. So they are equal. Four and eight, corresponding angles. So they are equal. That we call them their uh, corresponding angles. And the other one, alternate interior angle or interior interior uh, alternate angle. So interior alternate angle, they are always equal. Alternate or alternate angle. Mean that three and five are interior alternate angle or alternate interior angle. Uh, four and six, they are alternate interior angle, right? Uh, and the other one is alternate exterior angle. Alternate exterior angle is the first one is one and seven, two and eight. Uh, the other one, they are alternate interior angle, one and seven, two and eight. And the other thing is opposite vertical angle. Opposite vertical angle, I have told you, I have told you this before. Six and eight, five and seven, two and four, one and six, they are auto vertical opposite. Angle. So the always vertical opposite angles are what? They are congruent. They are congruent. And the other one, uh, interior angle in the same side of transverse are, are their supplementary. Yeah, it's let's say five and four are their supplementary angles. They are supplementary angles. Six, three and six, they are what? Supplementary angles. Seven and um, two. They are supplementary angles. Eight and one. They are supplementary angles. Supplementary angles means the sum is to be 180. So, if we say they are supplementary, mean that when you add those two angles, you will get 180 degrees. That's supplementary. Okay. Based on those properties, we can find this. Equation. We, can, we can solve this equation. So calculate uh, the value of the variable in figure below. So you have got A is 72 degree and angle ABC is 60 degree and angle BCA is uh, it's X. We are going to find it. So you are asked that angle Y, angle Y. So how do you find this? How do you find this when you, whenever you get this type of equation? There is one rule. Uh, this angle is remote angle, right? The sum of uh, uh, 56, 72, and x, it must be 108, right? It's fine by using that. I will give you the other thing. Okay, so we have angle ABC, angle ABC plus. Uh, measure of angle ABC plus measure of angle BCA plus measure of angle CAB equals to 180 degree. So it's angle sum theorem, right? Angle sum theorem, we are told that the sum of interior angles so of any triangle is 180. So based on that, based on that property, so here we have 6 plus X plus 72 degree, we got 180. So 6 plus 72 is 180. So, uh, 6 plus 73 equals 128. X plus 128 equals 180 degrees. So, you will take 128 to your right side. It will change into a negative sign, right? If it was negative, it will change into positive sign. So, X equals to 180 minus 128. So, X will be 52 degrees. X will be what? If we get x 52 degree, it's simple to find the other angle. So, uh, if you want, you got x 52 degree here, right? So, straight angle 180. 
a key one that to find the value of it 180 minus 53 degree and you can get it but I can tell you one minute angle y equals to sum of angle a b c and angle b a c mean that 56 plus 72 it gives you angle y this, because this is the remote angle remote angle there is the remote angle theorem right remote angle theorem angle y equals to uh, 56 plus 72 or angle uh, CAB plus uh, CBA they are equal whenever you get this type of question you can just use the first method uh, 180 minus uh, X you can make like that or Y minus I mean X plus X plus 180 you got X right you can just use that method or Q1 to get the value of Y 6 plus 72 you'll get the value of uh, an angle Y that you can find by using that method. So 56 plus 72, you got what? 100, Q and A. So Y is 100, Q and A. That's how uh, we find. So this is uh, what I have for today. Uh, so let me just tell you my exact schedules because uh, uh, challenging something so the first one is for five and six it will be uh, Saturday or oh, it's Saturday uh, 11 p.m. right 11 p.m. and for seven and eight it will be uh, on Sunday on Sunday then yeah Okay, start for grade 78 uh, for grade 5 and 6 it will be Kadami uh, I will do it and I will make a YouTube video and I will answer your questions. I just need your comments and I will uh, do whatever you have. You can do it. And I want you to give me a time. Thank you.